Saturday morning. I'm Ozer Kane. Glad to have you aboard. We switch gears now to another important uh, production that's happening. My man Pete. I should say Pete from Catherine's because I think that's how everybody knows. <laughs> that's what I should yeah. say. Good morning to you, man. How you doing, brother? Dude, I'm good. You, good. you you clean up early and well on a Saturday morning. Well, I just transformed because I just finished taking my boy to basketball trial. So <laughs> I live around the corner. You know that. So right. it was a quick switch, bro. I understand. Yeah, well, good to see you this morning, man. man. So what do you have going on today? Well, we have a dynamic presentation going on on December 15th. It's a, actually, it's called a love affair, and it's a theatrical fashion show. And it's the brainchild of this young lady to my left, who happens to be my sister, known her for many years, Latasha Welch. And she's actually launching her business through this event. So her business is called Events by Harper. And so she's launching this kind of to launch her business. All right, very good. So we'll get you to step to the mic. Okay. All right, so uh, Latasha, right? Yes. All right, very good. So this is your brain gel. Yes, it tell, is. Tell me about it. So um, events by Harper is, I've, I've, I've done weddings and events all for years and years. And so uh, this is finally my opportunity to, to do a launching event. And so the reason I do a theatrical fashion show is because people in Jackson love fashion shows, but they also My love. first guess, that's what we were talking about, <laughs> fashion show tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? People in Jackson love fashion shows, but also people love the arts as well. So I thought, we, why not bring them together, do a mashup of fashion and arts? So there you have the, uh, hence the love affair, a theatrical fashion show. Very good, so tell me about this love affair. So the love affair is actually broken down into three parts, and you know, in you know, we all have at some life, at some point in life, experienced relationships. We've experienced breakups. We've experienced makeups, and of course, some of us have experienced weddings. And so that's what the love affair is. And actually, we have instead of a, a MC, we have a narrator who will kind of set all of this up for us and kind of guide us throughout the night. And so you'll have dancing and singing and poetry all throughout the night to tell this story through fashion and the arts. So there you have the love affair. So we, our desire is to tug on people's hearts with breakup and maybe you can go back to a memory of a bad breakup that you had and then maybe you made up with someone that you broke up with in life and then <laughs> eventually maybe you, maybe you got married. And so that's what I'm thinking. And then people, it gives people an opportunity to dress up. It's a black tie event. So to dress up and to come out and have fun Ah, very good. So I gotta ask you, brother, what role do you play? And I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how did they tap into this inner acting spirit that you have? Well, I, I didn't really know I had an inner acting spirit. Uh, I thought originally it was going to be a, pro a series of promotional videos, mm -hmm. and so it turned into a lot more, which is good, uh, because it made me kind of come out of my comfort zone. But to answer your question directly, uh, I am Tony. Uh, in the uh, in the theatrical part of it, and so my character is in a relationship with another character uh, named Gabby, uh, and then we have a third character named Steph, who is a blast from the past and trying to to interfere, I guess, with the relationship. Uh, and so you have to come and see and check out what happens. I will say that there is a lot of twists and turns, but. I can't give you the juicy stuff. You're going to have to just show up. <laughs> so I would be through. remiss if I <laughs> failed to ask you how much of this Tony character mirrors who you are for real. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got to put me on the dock. Um, that's a good question. You know what? Honestly, man, I've only been in that situation, and it was one time in my life. And it you was, can talk to me. They call me Doctor Phil. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. Man. It was it was one time, and it was short, and it was really my fault, and uh, and so it didn't last very long, and uh, you know it's all good. But I mean, I think it's. I was telling uh, the uh, producer, director, Rodney McGee, who's over there on the camera, about it's taken me a while to kind of morph into the character mm. to really own it. Uh, and not just because I've had the experience. And so the opportunity, you know, for me has been good and it's just been great to own that and to express Tony and for people to see me, because, you know, they do see me in one way, but see me in a totally different way, it just kind of trips people out. And for all of us, you know, to work collaboratively, 
collaboratively together to produce something that I think is, is, is going to be dope. I've been saying it. I, I know it's an old school word, but I'm old. And, uh, I'm an East Coast dude, so I use the word dope. It's going to be a dope show. I, I really believe that in all aspects of it. Everybody's coming with fire. Everybody's coming with passion, with commitment. And you know what I'm saying? We're just excited about the opportunity to tell this story. Right. Very good. Love affair. Very good. And so you have yeah. someone else. So let's. Absolutely. I have to my left uh, Ken uh, Marshall. Everybody knows him as Cave Marsh. And I'll just kind of let him talk about his part. <laughs> so I serve as the runway coach, the one who keeps the girls and guys in line fashionably. And um, it's really exciting to finally get to do um, a theatrical runway event. I would do runway events, you know, a lot, just mostly high fashion events. So to actually dwell into another setting is going to be super exciting. So the models are ready. Um, they're going to tell their story by the way of runway. So there might be a little wedding scene here and there where there may be um, a mashup and color pops and flows to um, insinuate a breakup and how you feel when you're just, you know, kind of going through things. So fashionably would be the mood and then the runway would be kind of the attitude. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how this all gels together. It's like, how do you tell a story through, you know, uh, fashions? That's, that's kind of neat. Yeah, that's kind of neat. And so, so tell me though about why this type of event to launch your business. Well, again, um, people, I didn't want to be put in the box. I didn't want to be known as Tasha the wedding planner. If you need a wedding or a party, call her. I wanted people to see different aspects of me. I'm multifaceted. So I can do fashion shows. I can do a theatrical fashion show, which I'm not sure that there's ever been one here in this city. And so I'm I don't really think so. <laughs> I'm coming just because I'm so curious about that. <laughs> and so I needed I needed people to see me from different aspects. People know me in the church world. So I wanted I mean I'm not I'm a businesswoman, so I'm not just for people in the You're church world. You're not just a church girl. I'm not right? a church girl. <laughs> only. <laughs> she can say. You're a straight girl church girl. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, she can okay, say, okay. though. She can't she say. Can say. Yeah, she can bring it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. And so, I, again, we also have acting that'll be, you know, we'll have some acting going on. And I couldn't, I would be remiss if I would not include my partner, Rodney McGee, who's over on the camera. Um, he actually helped me. We wrote scripts. We spent the entire summer writing scripts, filming, which is what you see on Thursdays, theatrical Thursdays. He releases a new video clip of everything that we're building up the intensity for um, the show. So um, I'm very grateful for that. So you'll get to see the highlights of everything that we've done all across the summer, and you'll get to see how it ends. So you have to come to see how it ends. <laughs> all right, so very good. So the details then, uh, when, when is the show? The show is December the 15th. Uh, it'll be at the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame and Museum. Uh, it's show, it doors open at 6 o'clock for our VIP guests, and uh, the show starts at 7.15. All right, very good. Seven fifteen is a weird time. Why seven fifteen? Well, uh, we don't want the people waiting any longer. We just kind of want to get right to it. <laughs> <laughs> seven fifteen, as opposed to seven o'clock. Yeah. I thought that there, that fifteen was like there was some kind of significance mm, in it. Now that you mention it, we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can add real quick, I mean, it's it's good you can get your tickets at the door, but ideally, it would be good if you could go to Eventbrite. Uh, and the tickets are there. And actually, we have a Facebook page called The Love Affair. So if you type in The Love Affair, you can, you know, see what, what's about the event. You can watch the videos. Uh, you, you know, honestly, if you come, you really need to watch the videos, man, because that, like Tasha said, tells you a little bit of the backstory. So if I don't so, watch the video, will I be lost when I come there on the 15th? I'm going to say that. Hell yeah. No, so I'm going to say, you know, it... it, it, it you won't get the full gist of what we're trying to tell. Uh, okay. Yeah. You know? okay. Okay. I think yeah. if you watch the videos, it'll start tying things together for you. Okay. So because the yeah. videos are just a little bit of a, a sneak peek of what you'll see at the show. And so once the show kind of comes to a, a culminates, comes to an end, you'll be like, oh, so that's what that's what that meant on the video. And this is what that meant. So. All right, yeah. good. And where can we find the video? Um, you can find it on... Uh, Events by Harper page. Um, you can find it on the event page that we have, uh, the Love Affair, a theatrical fashion show. Um, and on any of our Facebook page, Rodney McGee, uh, Pete Almeida, and uh, Ken Marshall, and also myself, Latasha Welch. All right, very good, very good. And I should say, too, I don't want to leave anyone. We do have a couple other people that aren't here with us. We don't want to load down the studio. 
But, uh, you know, our... Yeah, you our, could bring the whole cast. Yeah, no, no. Well, <laughs> you know, two other people. We have a lot of people. Like, we have Miles, everybody. But the two people, April Bigham, who plays my girlfriend slash fiance. Uh, her name is Gabby. And then Latrenda Hudson, who plays Stephanie, yeah. the agitator, instigator. <laughs> Home record. I'm sorry. I just, yeah, I'm still jaded. Her. So I'm still, I'm still, her. I, I, her. No, but I mean, really, all dynamic cast. And I was telling everybody, you know, the blessing of it, of it all for me personally is, and for all of us, is a lot of us didn't know each other. And so the blessing is we have become friends, Very good. real friends, and become developed a real family atmosphere. And so it makes it real easy for all of us to work together, uh, to receive constructive feedback. And criticism, coaching, that's going to help us be better. So it's been a real easy to work with these young ladies and also gentlemen. And, and it's, just, it's just been a blessing, man. All right, it's very good. Sounds like a, uh, a great opportunity. Uh, yes. Final words, ma'am? Come to the show. You do not want to miss this. All right, very good. And again, they can get tickets where? You can get tickets at Eventbrite. Eventbrite um, Look for the Love Affair of Theatrical Fashion Show. Watch out for sales. This is my birthday month, and I love to give <laughs> for my birthday. So uh, also you can pay at the door with cash only, please. Um, and there will be sales all throughout the month of December. All right, very good. It's 1031. Thank you guys very much for being here. We certainly do appreciate it. All the best to you. I'm Thank looking you. forward to the production. I am appreciate absolutely so looking you forward, forward to that. All right, it's 1031. We'll take a quick break. On the other side, we're talking politics. Stay right there.